Hello, beautiful souls. So here we are today with another lesson. And uh, today's lesson, as I pull it up on my screen, is lesson 295. 295, the Holy Spirit looks through me today. The Holy Spirit looks through me today. I see this as the perfect next lesson, of course continuing from yesterday's, um, which was that the body is a wholly neutral thing. So we were recognizing that if the body is wholly neutral, that means I no longer choose to see through the body's eyes and look upon another's body, but instead I ask to look through the eyes of the Holy Spirit in me and look into and onto the Holy Spirit in my brothers. So this is a totally different type of vision that we are calling upon today and asking to be seen through us. So the Holy Spirit looks through me today. To even know that this is possible is a beautiful thing. <clears throat> so let's read the lesson for today and uh, see what else comes first. So the Holy Spirit looks through me today. Christ asks that he may use my eyes today and thus redeem the world. He asks this gift that he may offer peace of mind to me and take away all terror and all pain. And as they are removed from me, the dreams that seem to settle on the world are gone. Redemption must be one. As I am saved, the world is saved with me, for all of us must be redeemed together. Fear appears in many different forms, but love is one. And what a powerful lesson, even exemplifying the law, right? So we are recognizing here that Christ's, Christ asks that he may use my eyes today and thus redeem the world. So not only is this what we are asking for, to have the Holy Spirit to look through our eyes, but Christ asks us the same thing, to use our eyes to look upon a world redeemed. For as we give this vision and give this sight, so will it be seen in our experience, because as we are recognizing, the cause is in the mind and the effect is in our experience. So Christ asks that he may use my eyes today and thus redeem the world. He asks this gift that he may offer peace of mind to me and take away all terror and all pain. So all that is being talked of here is the gift, the gift that God has given us, the gift that Christ has given us, that we may off, he may offer peace to our mind. And in our acceptance of this peace, it takes away all terror and all pain. And it first begins with us and us receiving this gift that we may give the gift of vision. And we are also seeing here as it extends, Jesus remind, reminds us, and as they are removed from me, so as all terror and all pain is removed from me, the dreams that seem to settle on the world are gone. For once the terror and the pain leave my mind, I will not see it in my world because ideas leave not their source. So once the source of my thinking is changed from fear to love, from terror and pain all the way to peace and joy, I can only look upon a world now of peace and joy because the terror and the pain is gone. So from my love mind, I will look out and see love in my world. When I am redeemed, so will I know that the world is redeemed along with me. This is the application of the law perfectly. Redemption must be one. So if I am released, if I am redeemed, so is everybody else who we are one self. There's only one love. As I am saved, the world is saved with me. You know, this is even calling upon an earlier thought. As I heal, I am not healed alone. When I heal, I am not healed alone. So this is a beautiful thing. For all of us must be redeemed together. 
Fear appears in many different forms, but love is one. So this is another way of us looking you know, beyond all of the fear that appears in many different forms and no longer judging how much fear, how much more fearful one thing may be than another and how much more um, horrible another thing is than another. All illusions are all illusions and truth is true. And so we are recognizing today that love is but one. And so when I let the Holy Spirit look through me today and I let the peace be offered to my mind and accept it, then I will extend this into my world and I will experience this in my world. And I will be able to see all fear as the same and all love as the same because that's really what it is. You know, it doesn't matter how many different forms fear appears in, fear is fear. It's very mischievous in the way in which it appears, but it is all the same. And so we are recognizing that no matter how much fear appears to be present in our life and in our world, that love is there. And when we ask to look through the eyes of the Holy Spirit, we will look on that love. We will see it there, and we will know that that is what we are. So this is a beautiful application for today. <laughs> very, very practical, Jesus. Thank you. And um, so let's conclude with our prayer today, shall we? And let's settle into this space where the Holy Spirit is, moving beyond the physical eyes, the physical ears, the physical body, and resting into the space, into the now. My Father, Christ has asked a gift of me, and one I give that it be given me. Help me to use the eyes of Christ today, and thus allow the Holy Spirit's love to bless all things which I may look upon, that his forgiving love may rest on me. And what is ringing here for me is the idea that we receive so that we can give, so that we thus can receive and continue to give. This has nothing to do with getting at all whatsoever. This is only the giving. This is only the gift. But first and foremost, we are recognizing that God has already given us a gift. He has given us a gift of vision. He has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit that we may remember what we are and what God is. And so in receiving this gift that God has given, we can then extend this and give this to the world, and then it will come back upon us. Christ has asked a gift of me, and one I give that it be given me. A gift from God to me, from me to others, from others to me. Help me to use the eyes of Christ today, and thus allow the Holy Spirit's love to bless all things which I may look upon, that his forgiving love may rest on me. So only let the Holy Spirit's love bless all things which I look upon. Blessings, 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 blessings. Giving, 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 giving then that, that his forgiving love may rest on me. As I give these blessings, these blessings are received. As I extend forgiven perception, so is forgiveness welcomed back on me. Give love, receive love, period. The law exemplified. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is what we are applying here today. The Holy Spirit looks through me today. The Holy Spirit looks through me today. And anytime we catch ourselves resting on form, Anytime we catch ourselves getting caught up in the pain, getting caught up in the stories, then we can remember, oh yeah, Holy Spirit looks through me today. And let that next instant, that new moment to be handed to the Holy Spirit that we may see things through the eyes of Christ and not the eyes of the body. This is where the redemption for all the world is, including ourselves. So give this today, beautiful souls. Let the Holy Spirit's vision see through you today that you may look upon your forgiven self. <sighs> the Holy Spirit looks through me today. And I see the Son of God in all of you. I love you and enjoy today's lesson. Mwah.